Hi everybody, just stopping in to say hi and give you a little bit of extra help with proportions. Uh, it's not a new thing, it's just a different way to look at equations and the reason I call them relationships instead of equations. It's really good for when they ask you like what happens when you double the force or triple the distance or something like that. Uh, and it really gets to the concept of how things are related and cause and effect and actual math relationships, not just plugging in numbers. All right, so little piece of your notebook and uh, check this out. Okay, so back in the day, we actually started with <laughs> A is equal to F over M. Newton's second law, right? Well, this is the equation, but we can write it like this. A is proportional to F. And we can say that A is proportional to 1 over M. Or that A and F have a direct relationship. And A and M have an inverse relationship. So these are also related to those graphical relationships that we studied um, also back in the day. Um, you would say A and M have an inverse relationship and A and F have a direct relationship where you would say that A and F are proportional or you could say that A and 1 over M are proportional to each other. So those are the, the words we're using. But let's, let's bump up to what we're doing now. The universal law of gravitation. This is the equation that you can plug numbers into, but these are proportional in, in a way where you can replace all this stuff, like they said in the Kepler video, um, or anything that's a constant can come out of there. So we can say that F is proportional to the product of the masses, or we could say that F is proportional to the inverse square of the distance. Dun dun! Also on that list of graphical relationships, right? So we could say F and the product of the masses are directly proportional, and we could say that F and D have what's called an inverse square relationship. Think about what the graphs would look like. What's the shape of this? Whoosh. That's a curve and it's inverse. So that's the pattern there. But this makes it much easier to do those double triple questions like double the fours, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I want you to do. Let's do a couple examples. If, uh, let's make it hard. Triple the mass. What happens to the force? That's kind of the question. So instead of writing out the whole equation like we did the first time and adding in the threes, we're just going to write in the appropriate proportion and work with that. It's a lot less in the way. So force is proportional to the product of the masses. And whatever it says to do, I want you just to do on one side and then see what would fit. So triple the mass. I want you to put a three by one of the masses. That's tripling it. Well, in order to get the force, to make this equal, to make this true, we would have to triple the force. And so your answer there is three times the force. If triple the mass, you have three times the force. Okay, how's the easy one? Let's do another one. If, let's do triple the distance. What happens to the force? Let's do a comma. All right, so let's write the appropriate proportion. F is proportional to one over D squared. Now do whatever it says to do. It says triple the distance, so put a three here. Now, whoop, whoop, red flags. Alert, alert, do not forget the parentheses. It goes together. So you don't have just three here, you have three squared. And three squared is equal to nine. And nine is on the bottom of this, so don't forget the one. So what do we need over here for the force? One ninth. Yes. F over nine. In other words, if we get three times as far away, the force goes down, not by three, but by nine, because they have an inverse square relationship. 
And this is true for everything that has an inverse square relationship, okay? So that's where it gets more interesting. Let's do another one. All right, I'm just making these up. Let's see, example. If you, let's do a harder one for the distance because this is the one that trips everybody up. If you have the distance, what happens to the force? F is proportional to one over D squared. Do what it says to do. And don't forget the parentheses. Whoop, whoop. Okay. One half squared over one. That's what we're working with here. That's one over one fourth. And when you divide by a fraction, you flip it. Whoosh. Four. Four on top. Four times the force. Oops. <laughs> Four times the force. And that makes sense because when you have the distance, you're getting closer. So this should be a whole number, not a fraction. It should be higher because you got closer. It's closer. It's stronger by a lot, by a square factor. All right, now let's mix it up. We'll do the ultimate, um, well, at this level anyway. Say you... Double the distance and double both forces or both masses. <laughs> what happens to the force? Okay. Well, in this case, I'm going to use a proportion that includes everything. M1, M2 over D squared. And then I'll do what it says to do. Double the distance to and the parentheses. Whoop, whoop. Double both masses. Okay, what do we have here? I've got a four on top and I've got two squared on the bottom. That is what? The force is the same. <laughs> Math is so cool. Have a great day, guys.